Hey y'all, it's Natalie. Um, I'm popping in here today to show you guys how I prep my journal. And I'm as surprised as you guys are that I'm like the last person to get invited to do this. Um, just joking. I, <laughs> I was talking about the other day and I was like, I haven't done one yet. I'm gonna have to do it. Um, but anyways, I am sitting here on the floor. I lately have been sitting on the ottoman, I mean on the floor, and just like have all my, my quiet time stuff on the ottoman right in front of the fireplace. It's not on right now because it's kind of warm outside. But um, but yeah, this is where I usually do my little, my little quiet time. And um, so I'll show you guys how I fill up my prayer journal. I have the pretty pinky purpley one from last year. I love this color. So I don't know what I'm getting for next year, but um, probably the ivory one. Um, just so it matches with all my stuff. Okay, so um, the way I do this usually is like a couple days ahead of time. I'll just kind of start filling, on thing, filling in things that are like God's putting on my heart instead of putting them in the month that I'm in. If it's like two or three days before the end of the month, I go and put them in the next month just so I have a good amount of time for me to be able to pray for them. Um, I'm going to be honest and say that the challenge is one of the harder ones for me. Um, I don't have too many ideas for the challenge, but one of them that I did want to do um, for sure this month is to write out prayers every day in my like extra section. I have a lot of extra pages that I've been honestly saving. Um, I have this tendency to like save it up. I don't want to like use it all at the beginning of the year and then not have any pages. So I've saved up too much and now I just have tons of pages. So I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to like just start really like journaling some prayers every single day of this month. Um, I'm really wanting to be intentional about um, just having my heart set um, for the Advent season. So that is why my challenge is to journal out my prayers every day. Got tons of space and I really just want to be intentional this month. Um, as far as the world and the nation, kind of like keeping with that theme of just like this is the Christmas season, I really, really, really am praying for people all over the world to just experience Jesus this season, not just like the Christmas spirit, um, but literally Jesus, the reason for the actual season. Um, they would meet him in new ways that as Christians, we would just like exemplify unity and joy and something that is like attractive and that people want. Um, and just that this would just be a season where people are introduced to Jesus in an amazing way, um, that just changes their entire life. Um, and then the last one, I pray for this a lot and I pray for this, especially it's, you know, man, it's just like the times are very confusing. There's like misinformation, different places. Um, I just continually pray for truth to be exposed. That's all we can ask for. It's not praying for one way or the other. Like it's literally just praying God expose truth. Okay. The next section, my community, um, we are searching for a new head pastor. And so that is one thing that I, I've been writing in here a lot. Um, I also usually try to think about like different things, like especially with the neighborhood, I think about neighbors of mine, if I know different things that they're going through, um, maybe pray for them that way, or just pray for like a general spirit of um, just, I don't know, like friendliness and um, getting to know people and connection and stuff like that under the church and the neighborhood section. Um, and then as far as the city, I'm going to be honest, I forget about that one a lot. I don't pray for that a lot. If you have any ideas, message me and let me know. Okay. Next is where I pray for my honey. Um, and I, a lot of these, I really just pray regularly for him for that. He would love the Lord with his whole heart, mind, and soul, that he would be a strong leader and just a light to the people that he works with. Um, I always pray that he would be protected from temptation, evil, and harm. Um, lately I've been praying for him to find like a good work-life balance and to be able to rest a little bit more. Um, and just to always be guided by the Holy Spirit. Um, also have right here, we are working on future babies. And so I really have just been, this has been on my list for about a year now, just that they would really just come in God's perfect, perfect timing. Um, if any of you don't know, I was single for till I was 30, 31. And, um, 
I had to trust and I learned really, really well <laughs> that God's timing was better than mine. And no matter, maybe, you know, sooner would be better if it comes later, just that I would like trust um, that that timing is perfect. And and I always just pray that they would be healthy and whole and that they would just love the Lord. Um, next is our families. I pray for, pray for my grandparents, my mom and dad, Val and them, and then Josh's families. Um, sometimes I don't really know what to pray and I just kind of pray like a general thing. Um, but other times I know specifically and I can write that down. Um, same thing with friends. I didn't write that one on here because, you know, I just wanted to kind of keep that one private and also salvation and just the heavy stuff. But, um, a couple of things that I was thinking about recently about praying for people for salvation. Um, I have been praying. I think we need to pray more for like influencers and um, people who are in the public eye and people who have a lot of just honestly, just a lot of influence over other people. Um, there's been one person that I've been praying for that I know like in my circle of people who's very, very, very influential and I guess my thought is that if, you know, when people become believers and other people can, okay, cut off, but when people can see the change, um, or they know someone before they met Jesus and then they can see this change after it's very powerful. Um, and the greater someone's influence is, the more people it could impact. It just seems, um, like a no brainer to be praying for. So, um, and then, you know, I just have people, personal people that I know, um, that I add there, the heavy stuff, um, this is where I put things, situations or people that, um, that are just tough and hard. Um, lately I've been praying for, for, to be able to forgive other people, um, that I might need to forgive. And then there's other times where I need to pray that, um, God will convict me where I need to be convicted and then release any kind of guilt that's not from him. Um, because a lot of times we can kind of carry burdens that we're not really meant to carry. Um, and I think you can put that right here too. Um, next is personal. Okay. This month, uh, let's see what did I put on here this month? Um, for a surrendered heart, if you've heard me talk, I feel like a surrendered heart is the key to just unlocking a lot of, um, God's goodness in your life. We try so much sometimes to just like hang on to things that he's like, I have something so much better for you. So surrendered heart fixed on eternity. I love talking about eternity, um, and having a, an eternal mindset. Um, I think it's super important for this month too, to just be thinking about that, um, devoted to meeting with the Lord that I will just be committed and devoted to that. And that I will be overwhelmed by his presence and, um, that if you followed me at all, um, the song overwhelmed big daddy weave is like a huge, has just been like big in my life in a lot of different things. Josh and I actually had it as our first, um, first dance for our wedding. Um, but there's been times where I've just been like overwhelmed almost to the point of tears by being able to sit and experience the Lord. And, um, I just want to pray that, that I would make time for that more often because it just, it just changes things for me. Um, big goals. Okay. So I was sort of convicted ish <laughs> this past weekend that maybe not convicted, but maybe like God just put it on my heart that I needed to change the way that I did some of my goals. Um, so like, instead of making goals for this is the sales I want to make, um, I would make goals for these, this is the number of people I want to make sure I serve this month, or this is, I want to make sure I do these activities. These are goals for activities that I want to make sure that I'm doing that will lead to the sales, but it's like the numbers aren't the, um, the biggest focus. So, um, that was kind of interesting and cool. Like I, I'm kind of excited about just sitting down and making different God honoring goals. These are just a couple of them that I kind of came up with real quick, but um, I'll have plenty more later. Um, okay. The next is like my sections where I get to do my different things. Um, I think Val has shared this with you guys, but this is one thing that I do is I have a section for the books that I'm reading because I get so much out of books and I feel like I'm so challenged by them and there's so much like insight and I can experience a lot of growth from different books that I'm reading. Um, just based on like month, it really just helps to ingrain those truths that it's like they were so big, big in my life on one day. Um, 
and they don't just like go away if that makes sense it's something that kind of helps those things to like stick um if you guys are new here i wrote a devotional for or really a bible study it's a little bit deeper than devotional um for single gals and so i have connected with so many of you i've seen your stories i see you guys go the truth that's presented in them so instead of just reading them and kind of like forgetting about it or something like that i try to write down some of the things that are that really stand out. And then as I pray for it throughout the... Okay, and I should probably give you guys like, I don't know, points or something if you f find all the misspelled words. <laughs> Sometimes I write so fast, I like just legitimately do not even spell words correctly. But um, okay, next section I usually pray for is for my single gals. If whenever I was single, I wrote in my, my love section, I wrote for, prayed for my future husband. And it was the most amazing thing going back like years later with Josh and looking through and seeing what I was praying for him for at like exact moment, like transitioning from being single for years and then finding someone and not like getting married. Um, so y'all are like just constantly in my heart. So these are some prayer requests that I have for you guys. If you are single. Um, also I didn't say this, but, um, Whenever I was single, I wrote in my, my love section, I wrote for, prayed for my future husband. And it was the most amazing thing going back like years later with Josh and looking through and seeing what I was praying for him for at like exact moments. And he would tell me like, I was going through this at that time or whatever. So do not, do not give up praying for your future husband. Um, okay. Next thing is for my beauty counter team. I, um, I just am loving being a leader, um, but I want, I just want to be the best leader I can be. Um, I want to be able to encourage my team, support them, um, but most importantly, I want to draw them closer to the Lord. Um, so that's just something I just want to be praying for them regularly. Um, the next thing, okay, so adoration. Honestly, this is like I'm just turning my heart towards Jesus, the baby in the manger, coming. Um, and so this was on my heart this morning, just, just complete gratitude that, um, that God made a way for us, um, that he sent his son Jesus as, you know, a gift of salvation for us. And, um, I want to dwell on that this month. And I want that to be like something that just like overwhelms me, um, humbles me that this has been offered to us. So, um, scripture, I don't have a scripture just yet, but I need to get one. Usually I kind of fill those in as I'm studying the word and something just like, um, kind of stands out to me. Let's see what quote. Oh, I love Tozer. If y'all don't know, um, when we obey the words of Jesus in faith and in love, proving that we love him, he shows himself to us. All right. So of course this section is going to be blank. Um, but I have to encourage y'all do not forget about this page. Um, the months that I forget about it, I'm like sad that I wasn't paying attention and writing stuff down because it is so amazing to be able to look back and see what God's doing. And if I find it so hard, if I'm not leaving this out and able to like look at it almost daily, I don't remember or I don't recognize what God's actually done. Um, so just look at it, like almost keep it out to where you, you're seeing what you prayed for and you're seeing like just these little things that God answers because the little things just, I feel like they help like bolster up our, our faith so much. So just a little challenge. Do not forget about this fade page. It's not a throwaway page. It is like serious, serious, um, awesomeness. So, um, that's all, uh, let's see. Um, I just got a text message from Valerie. She honked her horn at me while I was doing videos. Um, anyways, okay, so that's it. But, um, if you guys, um, let's see, I'm going to show, Valerie just told me I need to share some of the things that I have for y'all. Um, and if you didn't notice, there's a bundle on Val's site. We did like a little collaboration thing. And, um, it is for the singles Bible study and the journal that I have. Um, and this is the absolute only place you can get the journal right now. Um, I don't have a shop open or anything like that. So if you want the 
women's like single women's prompted journal this is the only place you can get it so i'll share you all with y'all the bundle and if you guys have any questions um come over to my account and message me i'd love to talk to you guys i turned around so the light hopefully will not be bothering me um Okay, so I just what I just posted was the bundle that we did. So it's got a Bible study, it's got a prompted journal, and it's got one of Val's six-month prayer journals. So if you are looking for a gift, honestly, it's an awesome price um, for for any single girl that you know. Um, it's not only gonna be like a something that's gonna like make her feel good or whatever. It's gonna be something that's gonna like change her life and transform. It. I'm gonna show you guys some of the testimonials from the Bible study. Um, just so you can see, it is like filled with God's word and with truth that is the biggest, I don't know, it's the biggest thing that we can use in our life to change. So um, it changed my life, my single life, to something that I really like loved and was honestly a little sad to give up, <laughs> but, um, but something that made it... Um, it helped me to be able to let go of it because I loved it so much. So, and I took advantage of it, took advantage of the time. Um, so I had no regrets, but um, anyways, I'll share some testimonials, but um, y'all message me if you need anything.